Hello, I'm Single-Minded Ryan. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this rain splash effect on the ground. In this video, I'm only going to talk about the rain splash particle. I have another video on how to create the rain, and I'll link it above. First, let's create a light glitter 2D node. We are going to use it as the collider for the rain particle. Let's create a new occluder polygon 2D and go to the select mode to create the polygon points. Let's select the rain particle and set the collision mode to height on contact. Right now, the rain particles are still going through the polygon collider. That's because the colliders of the particles are too small. Let's increase the base size to 90. All right, now the rain particles disappear when touching the occluder polygon. Next, let's create the splash particle. Add a new GPU particles 2D node to the scene. I'll move the new node to where we can see it. Let's create a new particle process material. And change the name of the new node to Splash. Select the rain particle and assign the Splash particle to a sub-emitter. Go to the sub-emitter section and change mode to Add Collision. Now we can see some Splash particles on the ground. We need more of them. So let's select the splash particle and increase the amount to 200. Next, let's decrease lifetime to 0 0.2. Then we increase lifetime randomness in the particle process material to 1. Let's make the splash fade in and out by adding an alpha curve. Next, we want the splash particle to fall down faster, so let's increase the y value of gravity to 500. And we update the direction, spread, and initial velocity under the spawn section, so the splash particles go straight up initially. All right, this is the final result. I hope this video is going to be helpful. Since you have made it this far here, please consider checking out my Godot 2D course on Udemy. I'll leave the coupon link in the comment below.